Well, good afternoon, and thank you, Bill, for that great introduction. I should take you on the road every day. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here with the uh, California Republican Assembly, and I'm honored to stand here with so many proud conservatives. And in addition to Bill, I'm honored to be endorsed by strong conservatives like Governor Mitt Romney, Congressman Ed Royce, who is here today, Congressman Darrell Issa over there to my right, Congressman John Campbell, former, former Assemblywoman Sharon Runner, and uh, State Senator Tony Strickland. Um, all great conservatives, among many others, who have endorsed me. I also want to introduce my husband of nearly 30 years, who's here with me today, Griff. Can you just stand up? <laughs> As you know, you don't undertake these uh, kinds of um, uh, runs for, for public office without the support of your family, and Griff has been a stalwart supporter by my side every single moment, so thank you for that, hon. You know, at a time when Sacramento's answer to every problem is higher taxes and more wasteful spending, conservative values are exactly what we need to restore California's greatness. As Republicans, we know where we stand, and we know where we need to go. But to get California back on track, we have to pull together to defeat Jerry Brown and his liberal allies. Jerry has a... <laughs> a 40-year record of raising taxes and increasing spending. And he's been a failed governor, a failed mayor, and a failed attorney general. And he will fail California again unless we stop him in November. <laughs> Your allies in this fight to save our state, you will not find a tougher uh, fiscal conservative in this race than me. For 30 years in business, I was successful because I stuck to conservative principles. At eBay, I grew a startup from 30 employees into a Fortune 500 company with nearly $8 billion in revenue and 15,000 employees. I know how to balance budgets and create jobs, and I know how to use technology to do more with less. The next governor has to make some tough decisions. I have the courage and experience to do this job. I am the only candidate in the race who will stand up to the public employee unions. I am committed to reducing the state workforce by 40,000 workers to levels of I will take on the $60 billion crisis in state worker pensions. I will reform welfare to ensure that it's a te temporary hand up and not a way of life. downsize the education bureaucracy in Sacramento, increasing local control of our schools and sending more money directly to the classroom. Now, I will take on, I will take on these big reforms and I won't take no for an answer when the Sacramento establishment pushes back hard. On taxes, I have a strategic plan that will spark immediate job creation. It starts with eliminating the capital gains tax. And it includes tax cuts to help manufacturers, small businesses, and entrepreneurs grow and create jobs. After we simultaneously cut government spending and balance the state budget, we will invest in across-the-board tax cuts for every Californian. The Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association spent a year examining Steve's record and mine. In their endorsement of me, they said, I am the only candidate in the race that Howard Jarvis himself would have trusted to protect Prop 13. <laughs> I am honored to have their endorsement, and I would be honored to have your help as we fight together to cut taxes and break Sacramento's grip on our economy. The next governor of California faces other tough issues, including illegal immigration. Let me be clear, I am 100% opposed to amnesty, no exceptions. <laughs> Immigration is a federal issue, but there are things the next Cal governor of California must do. We are always going to have a problem with illegal immigration as long as there is demand for undocumented labor. Yep. That's why I support building an economic fence, a tough e-verification program that holds employers accountable for hiring only documented workers. I'm going to crack down. 
out on sanctuary cities like San Francisco. <laughs> and when I'm governor, we have to stop the in-state in tuition break for illegal immigrants. Yeah. Yeah. The key for Washington is to finally get serious about stopping illegal, illegal immigration where it happens, and that is the border. We must secure the border of the United States of America. Yeah. Well, I've spent time on the border between California and Mexico, and I can tell you firsthand the feds have not done what is required to secure the border. And we're going to have to fix that. And then last but not least, I'm going to pressure Nancy Pelosi to use the purse strings that she controls to reimburse California for the costs of incarcerating illegal immigrants in our <laughs>